Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am making an easy no-bake cake recipe. If you love chocolate, you will for sure love this chocolate cake. And if you are watching me for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you do not miss any of the videos that I post on my channel weekly. So let's go ahead and start the recipe. I roasted walnuts for about two to three minutes. They add a really nice crunch and flavor to the cake. Next, I used adjusted biscuits and I broke them up into small pieces. So next we are going to go ahead and make the chocolate syrup. For that you will need half a cup of cacao powder, half a cup of coconut sugar. Now you can go ahead and use regular sugar. I just wanted to go ahead and use coconut sugar so that's what I used. You will mix it up and then add one cup of water along with five tablespoons of butter. So cook this syrup on the stove for about seven to eight minutes until you see it's you know coming to a boil and you can also check at the same time uh, the sweetness of your syrup if you want it to be more uh, sweet you can go ahead and add more sugar This is how it's going to look like once it's cooked completely. You will see the bubbles. So I will remove it from the stove. And at this point, I will mix my walnuts in my cookies along with the hot chocolate syrup. So go ahead, mix this really well so every cookie is covered with the chocolate syrup. So once you have everything mixed in, go ahead, transfer it over into your cake pan. I am using an eight inch cake pan, which has a removable base. So just go ahead, put everything in there. So go ahead and press this mixture down firmly. Uh, that way you have even sides, the middle, the corners, you know, it's all even from all around. So go ahead and do that. If you need to use a spoon, go ahead, use a spoon or a spatula, whatever works for you to do this. So this is how it's going to look like. Place this in your fridge to set and let's work on the chocolate ganache. I used one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one cup of heavy whipping cream, which I boiled on the stove. You can do that or you can go ahead and use your microwave. My camera died while I was pouring in the hot cream into my chocolate chips, so I apologize for that. Um, once you do that, let the chi chocolate chips and the um, cream sit for a few minutes before you go ahead and start mixing it up this way it will just you know combine all together it will be easier to mix and make the ganache so go ahead and do that you will see it will turn into this really pretty chocolatey ganache and pour that over onto your cake and let that set for at least a couple of hours I did let it set for the entire night I'm just using a knife around the edges so it's easier for me to take the cake out and since I love walnuts I sprinkled it with a lot of walnuts and obviously the sides as well if you like walnuts you can go ahead and um, use or you can totally skip it use any of your favorite toppings that you like it's totally up to you you can personalize your cake any way you want so at this point it's ready and I will show you how it looks like from the inside too. So just give it a minute. I will go ahead and cut it and show you. So 
So this is how it looks like. It's really pretty and the taste was even better. So if you make this cake, please let me know how it turned out. I will be waiting for your feedback. And once again, thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you all in my next video. Till then, take care and bye.